In this video, we will graph the given log function on the TI-84 graphing calculator, as well as give the domain range and equation of the vertical asymptote. Because we have log base two, we will have to use the change of base formula shown here below, where we can use either common log or natural log. In this example, let's use natural log. Y equals log base two of the quantity X minus three plus two is equal to natural log of the quantity X minus three divided by natural log two, and then plus two. Before we grow the calculator though, we should be able to recognize that to find the domain, we need to solve the inequality x minus three greater than zero. So if we solve x minus three is greater than zero, we would add three to both sides, which gives us x is greater than three, which is a domain, or using interval notation, we have the open interval from three to infinity. And then to find the equation of the vertical asymptote, we set x minus three equal to zero, and solve, which gives us x equals three, which is the equation of the vertical asymptote. And just like the basic log function where the range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, or all real numbers, the given function also has the same range. And we will verify this graphically in just a moment. And now let's grow the calculator. From the home screen, we press y equals, and we enter natural log x minus three, close parenthesis, divided by natural log two, close parenthesis, and then plus two. Let's start with the standard window by pressing zoom six. So here we have a decent graph of the function, but because the domain is x greater than three, let's change the x-axis. Let's press window, Let's change the x minimum to negative two, and then press graph again. Now the calculator does have limitations. We need to recognize that this graph does go down indefinitely and approach the vertical asymptote at x equals three. So this graph does verify the domain is the open interval from three to infinity. And because the graph goes up and down without any holes or breaks, the range is all real numbers, or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the vertical asymptote is x equals three. And now to graph the function, and we need to find some convenient points, let's do this by using the table of values. So let's first press second window for the table set. Let's have the table start at three, enter. Let's have the change in table be 0.5 or one half, enter. We want both the independent and dependent variables to be an automatic, which they are. So now we can press second graph for the table and scroll down and find convenient points. Here we have 3.5 comma one, here we have four comma two, here we have five comma three, and here we have seven comma four. Let's use these four points to make a nice graph of the function on our own coordinate plane. I do wanna mention at times, we may have to round our function values to find enough points to make a nice graph on the coordinate plane. And now to graph the function, let's first sketch the vertical asymptote of x equals three, which is here. And now we'll plot these convenient points and see if we have enough points to make a nice graph. So 3.5 comma one is here, four comma two is here, five comma three, and seven comma four. We know the function is going to approach the vertical asymptote, and therefore on the left, the graph looks something like this. And on the right, the function passes through this point and continues to increase, something like this. I hope you found this helpful.